Thor. Thor is overrated. Now you're probably going to say, you think that really good MCU movies are overrated and really bad MCUs are underrated? Thor is really underrated. I'm sorry. This movie is awesome. And I'm going to talk about that. It also has some not so good things that I prefer not to see in this movie. But other than that, let's get in to talk about it. Probably the best thing in this movie. Some people don't like it. I love the fish out of water comedy. I love how it just goes back and forth from Asgard to New Mexico. That's really enjoyable for me. Some people might not find that as enjoyable. I find, find that really enjoyable. Another good thing is um, uh, the Warriors 3. The Warriors 3 are amazing. They kind of steal the show for me in this movie. Um, my only problem is that they don't get enough screen time in the rest of the movies. Like Thor Ragnarok killed off. Spoilers. And Thor the Dark World, they're just there to help Thor escape. But in this movie, they have a real purpose. And I really enjoyed that. Um, Heimdall is really good in this movie. Um, yeah. Loki. Loki is probably my favorite MCU villain. Better than Thanos. Just because I think he's very comical. Not Thanos, but Loki. Very comical. Entertaining to watch. And just a blast. When it comes to this movie, there's only a few things that really bother me. One... Heimdall does, doesn't get, like, barely any action. Two, Frost Giants drive me crazy. Um, and three, Eric is kind of like, he's on board with Thor, but then he's kind of like, doesn't want Thor to be there. Then he's on board, and then he stays on for a bit. Um, another thing that I didn't like is Anthony Hopkins. I love the actor of Anthony Hopkins. But I don't like him in this movie because... He has some great scenes at the beginning, but when it comes to the end, he's just in the chamber. And that's all that really he does in this movie, other than banish Thor and have some really good moments. I have to give this movie a 9 out of 10.